welcome back. We continue covering breaking news. We understand that things have escalated there. Let's go straight out to Paul Lamison at Eagle 8 HD. Paul, what were you seeing here just a few minutes ago during this commercial break? Hey, Rod, this is horrible scene out here. We are on Fowler just at 22nd Street. There's a guy. He was coming out of this Golden Diamond store. They were able to break in underneath this. We watched them run out with countless handfuls of merchandise till the police came. Police came, and right when somebody was running out, this guy against the car, he was coming out of the store with a handful of merchandise. They were able to grab him and detain him. You see the merchandise still out on the sidewalk from this jewelry store. This is just down the street of where we saw looting of the AT&T store. This whole area up and down Fowler, they're just roaming from store to store grabbing stuff. I'm going to show you something else. See this pile of stuff? Somebody came out of the store with a handful of stuff. When he came out, other people attacked him and grabbed stuff. That's what's left on the sidewalk, but the looting is now starting. All right, Karen, thank you very much. We are continuing to uh, cover this protest that has now turned very chaotic. Uh, Eagle 8 HD has been over the scene, and now we see that there is a gas station on fire. Let's go to Paul Lamison. Paul, where exactly are we and what happened here? This is a gas station that we watched them loot during the protest. It's at the corner of 30th and Bush Boulevard. Now they have lit it on fire. You see the gas station is fully engulfed in flames. Fire crews have just arrived. You're watching them put the first bit of water on it right now. Hopefully they can knock this down before it gets to the gas pumps, which they look like they are, but you got to see the fire crews put it out. This started just a little bit ago. We were here and watch the fire spread through the building. We don't know who set it on fire or how, but again, this is the same gas station that the rioters, when they, the, not the right, when the protesters went into the store and looted it, this is the same store that's now on fire. It looks like fire crews are in there putting it out. There's still a little bit of flame, but you see Tampa Fire Rescue on scene able to douse this fairly fast. Here, all right, let's go to uh, Eagle 8's uh, pilot reporter, uh, Paul Lamison. Now, he is over uh, the mall there. Paul, what's going on? Hey, Rod, can you hear me? KG Fashion Superstore. We just watched people kick in this window, and they went inside. Law enforcement chased them in. Law enforcement came over with their guns drawn. They are now currently in that store. People came in. There they go running out. There's law enforcement in there as well. There's several people inside there. We saw them kick the window open and run in there. Law enforcement then pulled up with their guns drawn. They're now taking cover. There comes people out of the store and getting cheered on by the people. This was this is just happening right down from where the another law enforcement going in right there they have somebody in custody watch this i'm going to zoom in a little this is active this is happening right now in the university mall they're throwing boards through it this is getting out of hand right now it absolutely is paul no question do you have a sense of how big that crowd is we can only see part of it there in the frame but here i'll pull out and show you okay here you go. We see tear gas canisters being deployed Sorry about there. That. It looks like Yeah, there we go. There's an the armored crowd. Vehicle. This This is right here over to the left. This is where they we've been showing you the law enforcement standing side by side. This store is just right over here. This is where they moved the fence and they all ran in there. Now the law enforcement's in the store and there are people coming up and going in running in there you go the rolling thing he just threw that chair backups. through the winch window yeah there's we, not that many people but there's a, enough to make this very very dangerous no question you see we they have the fence yeah we did see some law enforcement officers appear to run inside do you have a sense that of was a law enforcement officer right there he's mm. in riot gear inside yes. there's another deputy in the store so it appears that they're just and trying he, to, to get these guys. Have they gotten everybody the out of there? These are right there, and the armored trucks there. The crowd's still right outside. They're still throwing stuff. They know that they're really not going to do much to them. 
so they have no fear right now. They're just throwing things at the deputies. They're breaking windows of stores. And you have to remember, this is somebody's store. Somebody owns this. This is somebody's livelihood. There you go, kid just kicked it. Now they're backing up the armored vehicle to try to make a roadblock per se, so people cannot get in. But right now in the store, there are people. There are law enforcement and other people in the store. So this, this the armored fence. vehicle that just pulled up is blocking the entrance to, to the, the store. store so that these people can no longer get in or rush the store. We see law enforcement now appearing to be coming out of the store, perhaps with looters. Paul, do we know, is this HCSO, is this Hillsborough County Sheriff's Office, is that their vehicle or is that TPD, do you know? Can you tell? I believe it's Hillsborough County Sheriff. I can't really tell, but they're mostly sheriff and university police. You see, they're still throwing glass and bottles at, there's the, the protesters. They're still throwing stuff up at the store. The store's right here. The deputies are now surrounding it. Uh, Paul, and do me so a... here we go. They're... Uh, Paul, hang Sorry tight for just that, a Russell. second. Hang tight for just a second with that shot. Marco Villarreal is on the ground in this very same area. Let's check in with him and see what he is seeing from his viewpoint. Marco, what are you seeing there? It's absolutely chaos right now. We have a large amount of crowded people right over here, a lot of vehicles, and this is where what Paul is talking about, the bottles that are getting thrown out there, they're all coming from this direction. You see a lot of these folks out here, they have these bottles in their hands when they get mad. They're throwing them at the deputies. Some, I've seen several of them have to run out of their cars and run behind the, uh, the crowd control over here. And you see deputies in, uh, in their cruisers trying to come out here with... People throw in stuff and they're starting to uh, hit each other because they're just not aiming. They're just starting to throw stuff. I've seen glass bottles being thrown as well. Uh, there's people that are upset, but then there's also a large amount of group of people that are in the outs outside of this area that are just kind of watching what's happening right now. It's mostly the people the things the people in the back are just kind of watching and waiting and here is a shot of the sheriff uh, deputies out here in their riot gear you can see they've got masks we've heard several flashbangs uh, go off and we've seen some gas go off as well but as of right now this is kind of the scene outside of the university mall where several people are out here uh, trying to just keep order with all the people that are out here trying to protest so this is a it's kind of a chaotic scene and you see a lot of these deputies just trying to be patient and uh, keep the peace as much as they can. Guys? All right, Marco, hang tight. Be safe out there. We're going to go back to 8 on your side, uh, uh, 8 on your side, Eagle 8 HD reporter Paul Lamison. Paul, tell us, uh, have they been able to secure that interest into that KNG? Yeah, they have secured it. I want to show you. Here's where it's secured. The people are out of it. But they're now over to this side. I don't know what they're trying to do over here. We just saw a couple deputies race in through this area over to the back of the mall. They're keeping that area uh, under guard right now. And over here, this is where all the people are. And this is, they're starting to get really agitated. They've been throwing stuff. A deputy had to just drive through here. And as he did, he was pelted with all kinds of objects in the vehicle. But these people are not really backing up. They're right here just standing there. They're not backing down at all. They're not moving. They're not dispersing. They're not doing anything other than just hanging out. And when the officers or deputies move by, they throw things at them. So this is a very, very volatile scene right now. You see the deputies over on the side trying to figure out what to do. And the main thing is, is what we've noticed is there's no fear. There's no fear in any of the protesters because they don't think there's anything the law enforcement can do to them because when they throw the canisters, they just pick them up and throw them right back. We're going to keep your shot up right now because the images that we are seeing are absolutely incredible. And right now we have Hillsborough Sheriff Chad Cronister on the phone with us right now, Rod. Hey, Sheriff, thanks so much for joining us uh, tonight. Kind of give us an update on where things stand right now. We've seen this progressively uh, get a, a larger presence of officers and, and uh, deputies out there and a larger crowd, too. 
Yeah, things have regressed. They became ever increasingly violent, throwing more rocks and bottles. They were trying to um, overrun us at, at different different stores. And again, like I was telling you earlier, we're not going to allow anyone to be harmed, and we're not going to allow any any damage to any businesses or allow them to steal from any type of businesses. Uh, unfortunately, as it as the, as the crowd became violent, they struck one of our deputies in the head with what we believe to be as a brick, and we had to rush him to the hospital here immediately. I'm trying to get an update on on his condition uh, because the crowd became so unruly. I've had to ask the Tampa Police Department, uh, who we've been supporting all day, to now uh, and working in a great partnership with them to please lend some additional support up here. This seems to be where the where it's the most chaotic here in, in this type of area. I've also had to ask for all available units throughout the county to please come up here to the university area so we can get this scene under control. Hopefully, do everything we can to gain gain control of this scene peacefully. It's just an incredible situation unfolding on the ground here at the University Mall where obviously is. that is the center of all activity and attention. The sheriff just detailing that for us. Our Jeff Patterson is on the ground there. We want to go to him right now. Jeff, what does the scene look like to you now? Are things starting to calm down or are you still seeing them escalate? No, it's escalating, Jen. Uh, as a matter of fact, there's been some real anger near us within the just the last few minutes i heard rod ask the sheriff if there's anybody out here leading this effort anybody that they could rationally talk to and i can assure you right now that is not the case here on the ground it is absolute pandemonium as you work your way out into the parking lot here we've had people angrily confront us threaten us they tried to take uh, one of the cameras uh, from one of the photographers here with uh, eight on your side uh, and just basically get up in our faces and tell us that, you know, express their feelings. Let's just say it that way, because there has been a lot of profanity and we are doing our best to not put any of that on the air tonight. But I can just tell you, we heard the sheriff talk about the ebb and the flow as the crowd surge. And I'm definitely witnessing uh, that as we are here. We have seen the crowd just kind of push forward and then they lob the tear gas canisters at them uh, and then it kind of pushes the crowd back. I saw something very frightening a short time ago and that was somebody had ignited something uh, on fire and was carrying it towards the line of officers and then you saw the line of officers surge towards that fire. They were throwing things uh, that looked like they were trying to ignite them uh, here from the crowd and it was really getting out of control at that point and it was at, at about that time that we saw a, a lot of officers running towards there uh, and that's when I can assume that the Hillsborough County Sheriff's Deputy was hit by something uh, in the back of the head and as we've heard he's now been taken to a local hospital where he is being treated but that's the way it's been going they've been lobbing the crowd has been lobbing really explosive fireworks into the line of officers uh, and then the officers have been firing tear gas back of course the protesters have been picking up those tear gas canisters and throwing it back at the officers and that's this surge back and forth that Sheriff Chronister was talking about a short time ago. The acrid smell of this tear gas has been in the air surrounding us. We've been breathing it in here. I saw a Tampa police officer uh, who was just spitting out from his mouth and you could see he was he had a lot of tears in his own eyes because he had caught the full brunt of some of this tear gas coming back into their line. So a very difficult situation and I can tell you that when you, you talk about is it starting to calm down? not at all where we are at least because there has been some real anger uh, addressed towards the media towards the officers uh, a line of officers came up as we were being uh, confronted by some people here and uh, they uh, threatened to blast them with the, their own tear gas here so we're doing our best to try to keep profanity and obscene gestures off the air but i can tell you from the anger from this crowd they are expressing their feelings very vocally very visually here tonight and so uh, they've been yelling things at us like how does it feel now you're having to turn around you're afraid that's how we feel all the time how does it feel to be in that situation i'm paraphrasing what they were saying but uh, that has been the message that we have heard loud and clear from some of these angry protesters and justin checker was talking earlier tonight about how as much peaceful it was peaceful during the day but here this evening, it is definitely escalating here at the mall, you guys. Jeff Patterson, live for us tonight at University Mall. We appreciate you. We're going to have you stand by because this 
situation continues to it's unfold and our coverage will continue.